with. I joined the ministry of, um, of the government in 1968, and I found Nyechaya was already in the provincial administration, doing pretty well. I was a young engineer, rose through the ranks in the ministry to chief engineer roads, and then permanent secretary for uh, about 13 years uh, in the Ministry of Transport and Communications and Agriculture. It is at the Ministry of Agriculture where the two of us, that's Honorable Mze uh, Nyashae and myself, work together. And I can assure you that here is a man whom one would love to say he is associating with. Very highly principled and somebody who is uh, result oriented, meaning if he was doing anything, he would set a target and would ensure that he has a way of monitoring whatever was going on. Not just saying the project is ongoing, he wants to see results and results within a specified period. One project that uh, put us together was the rural, uh, rural development, which is now translated into devolution that we hear about. I can assure you that the seven districts which were set aside for that experiment, uh, much was done and uh, Simeon Yachai was the brain behind the whole of that. Now, many people got employment, go, ch children were able to learn that whatever they were seeing at the grassroots level was their own because they selected, because they constructed if they were roads, because they maintained, and they preserved those facilities because they are for their, their own good. I would like to say that uh, we are missing Nyeshae, we'll continue missing him greatly. And before I finish, I would point at that lady there, being my wife, she's uh, Mary Akelo, a nurse by profession. And to all of you, I, I say you miss somebody whom one would wish to continue associating with. May God bless his soul in eternal peace. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I am proud to be able to say that Simeon was my friend. Long, long time ago, we became friends. So although, of course, I knew Charles and Kennedy, but I also knew Maina and Yandusi when they were this side. And I've seen them grow up. He was a man of integrity. I have seen, when I traveled into Nairobi airport with uh, Simeon, and Grace was with us, I have seen, seen him tell the customs people to go through the baggage of Grace because she's brought a lot of things in there. <laughs> That's the kind of man he was. I have learned a great deal for, from him over the years, and um, there are very few that has his kind of principles. And he was always proud to say to Grace in front of all of us that I have ruled over you Kikuyus for 10 years. <laughs> and he really enjoyed saying that. And um, so he was a very lovable man very easy to be friends with and we will miss him and uh, just for him to be around was something that we all felt good about so go well my friend be well wherever you are I'm sure you will do deals with God as well and you will have a very high place wherever you are 
It has been nice knowing you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's good afternoon, all of us. Uh, my name is Moses Mwendwa. And maybe I should start by saying I was taken by surprise because I didn't know I would be asked to speak. But that said, I have reason to thank God that Honorable Mze Nyachai was my good friend. You'll be wondering how I would say he was my friend. Mze Nyachai, those I know there are some here who have seen here, knew that he worked with my father many years back when he was appointed DC in Nyahururu. I think that was the first time I knew him. A lot of people didn't know that. And they worked with, he worked with my father in, a, in Nakuru when he was appointed PC. My father was a provincial accountant. And in Nyeri, when he was PC, my father there was also a provincial accountant. But my relationship with him came much later. When he knew I was the son of Joseph and he didn't know I was in Nairobi. And we became very close because he involved me in a lot of his work. He was a mentor to me. He taught me a lot of things. I met a lot of people through him and these people became my friends. So for me, what I can say, and like I, he always said, I was a son of Honorable Nyachai because every time we sat down to discuss, maybe in a board meeting or somewhere, he would tell those sitting with us that this man I worked with his father, so he is my son. And I accepted because he said I'm an adopt I am an adopted son of the Nyachais. I'm happy to say here one thing that I've seen. The, group, the grandchildren and the children of Nyachai have said one thing, that they will speak, they will stick to his motto, respect, integrity, and love for one another. They have said that they would not let Muse down. We've seen many families, after the head of family has departed, mess account, uh, the family, the businesses and the rest. I can tell you one thing that I know. Mze was very organized. I would sit with him for hours in his office discussing various things. And I can tell you Mze was organized and he loved his family deeply. He loved the whole family. And all the children were loved. And he had special love for each child. And the mothers here, those who are gone, because I knew, I knew them, I met them, and those who are here, Mama Charles, mother, and Mama Grace. He would tell me about the care Mama Grace took to ensure that he got well. And sometimes I would be very touched, knowing that he would tell me, look, many people don't know the importance of a wife. Being careful, he would say, look, you do not know that an, a man who is not married misses a lot. When you get old or you are sick, you need a wife to take care of you. And he said he has reason to thank God because he has the wives who took care of him. He has Grace who took care of him. He was like a child to Grace because she would do everything for him. He was proud of the achievement of his children. Like Charles here, like all the others, all of them. He was proud and you remind me that the first thing he liked 
and he admired was the performance of his children. And he kept their certificates. You'll be surprised. He kept their certificates and he would not give them until later. Maybe even if you are given an, an item, he will keep that certificate. Tell you that is yours, but it's not yours when, until I'm gone. So please, my advice is respect and honor your father's advice. Stick together, love one another, be firm, grow that organization. The businesses that Muse had, grow them. Don't mess. Stay together, stick together, love one another, and Mze, wherever he is, he will be blessing you. That's the only thing I can tell you. Me, he was a father, and he helped me in many things, in many ways. Advice and my other personal problems. So for me, he was a father and a great friend. So that's all I can say. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you very, very much, uh, Mze Moses Mwendwa. And I think to the family, the blessing has been pronounced by Mze's friends. Lee, Mike, Tuakina Nyandusi, Sam and the rest, Noah, to the grandchildren, the tone has been set. And I think the blessings that you will get, even from the prayers, for sure you shall leave the legacy of Mze. I now wish to bring uh, uh, Mike Gitone from the presidency to take us on the other beat and subsequently we shall then uh, go to uh, the reading from Psalms 121 that shall be done by Noah and have a hymn uh, by the mother's voice and we shall be culminating by the sermon by Pastor Irere. Thank you very much for listening to me. I know I forgot to introduce myself. My name is uh, Jeff Omambia a serving elder in this church. Welcome, Mike, and carry on. I take cognizance and uh, pass my apologies and uh, condolence to the family, distinguished leaders, the clergy and the family members uh, of the Fourth Estate who are present. We all gathered here to demonstrate the love, the respect that we had for our hero and give comfort to the family friends, and all of us who have met together here as we mourn and also give thanks to God for the opportunity he gave us to have our father, Honorable Simon Nyachai. Words cannot completely express our views and feelings about this great leader. But one thing I know and I believe firmly is that uh, he has fought a good fight he has kept his faith and now he has rested in peace it's all upon us now to pray for the family that uh, they emulate what I wish now humbly to invite the Chairman of the Council of Governors, Honorable Governor Wambora, on behalf of the Council to come and pay his tribute and acknowledge the other Governors who were present. Karibu Chairman.
good afternoon <clears throat> the the right 